recent advances in digital technology, the construction engineering have made it possible for countries to initiate bigger and more complex projects. We went looking for the largest and most exciting mega projects that are currently under construction. We'll take you on a tour to see Japan's heights. Check Maglev Train, which holds the world speed record of 603 kilometers an hour the largest green city being built in the Middle East, and China's ambitious project that covers over 60 countries. Before we explore these mega projects, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe. Let us know in the comments below which mega project you enjoyed the most. The Chuo Shinkansen Mega Project Japan is one of the world's most developed countries known for its innovation today. The most efficient way to move around Japan is by train. Their train system is simply one of the best in the world alongside a great safety record. They are always punctual as well as comfortable to ride it. To have such a network is impressive, considering most of the country is covered by mountain ranges. Japan is also a pioneer when it comes to high-speed trains. As it recovered from the devastation of the Second World War, it came up with its first high-speed train network in 1964. The first line was built to connect two of Japan's most important cities. Tokyo and Osaka Shinchansen is the word used to describe bullet trains in Japan. And it literally means new trunk line. The design of the bullet train with its needle nose, aerodynamic shape is iconic, and one of the most recognizable pieces of Japanese engineering. When they launched the trains could reach a speed of 210 km per hour. Over the years, the bullet trains have been getting faster and the travel times have been getting shorter of 350 km trip from Tokyo to Nagoya using a bullet train. It really just takes an hour and 20 minutes. However, that's not fast enough for a country where time is everything. That's why Japan wanted to cut the time by 50%. Their solution was to build the Schwa Shinkansen, make a project, a new train that we use cutting-edge maglev technology. What exactly is a maglev train? Maglev is short for magnetic levitation. A maglev train works by using two sets of magnets, one set to repel and push the train up off the train and the other set to move the elevated train ahead. This means that the train can take advantage of the lack of friction to achieve a normal operation speed of over 500 kilometers per hour. You could say it's a floating train and an amazing feat of engineering. It currently holds the world record of 603 kilometers per hour. With the experimental maglev train LO series, it has a much higher acceleration and deceleration. Four minutes compared to conventional high-speed rail making it stand out from the competition. The construction of the Hansen began in 2014 and is estimated to cost almost $90 billion. The commercial service between Tokyo and Nagoya is due to begin in 2027 and the trip she currently takes over an hour and 20 minutes will only take 40 minutes. There are also plans to extend the line Nagoya to Osaka by 2045. Here's something interesting about Japan's high-speed rail. Over 60 years of operation, they have had zero fatal accidents making them one of the safest forms of transportation in the world. The new maglev train service is designed to maintain that spotless record. That's something to look forward to. If you plan to visit Japan, the Lusail City Mega Project. The Lusail City Mega Project is found in Qatar, a small desert country in the Arab Peninsula with a population of less than 3 million people. The harsh climatic conditions force the nation to seek other ways of sustaining itself. Fortunately, Qatar has the world's third largest natural gas reserve and is one of the largest exporters of natural gas because of its low population and high revenues from oil and gas. It's considered to be the richest country in the world today in order to anticipate the need to house a growing population. The idea for Lusail City was born in 2005. Located along the coast, the city is 23 kilometers from the capital Doha and is designed to house almost a half billion people. Although the idea was there since 2005, the project really took off in 2010 when Qatar won the rights to host the 2022 FIFA World Cup. They made history becoming the first country in the Middle East to be selected to host the soccer event. Lucidale City is a futuristic project as part of Qatar's. Vision 2030, it's being built with the desire to create a modern and ambitious society. It's the first green city in the country and the largest development that has been undertaken in the Middle East today. Although it stands as an independent urban center, Lucel will be connected to Doha by subways and state-of-the-art train lines. Developers expect visitors to be attracted by the city's marina, one of the biggest in the region, as well as its shopping malls, business districts, artificial islands, and amusement park. It will also have residential buildings, hospitals, schools, mosques and 22 hotels built to international standards as a World Cup host Lucille City. We'll also have one of the biggest stadiums in the Middle East. Let's take a closer look at the stadium. The construction of the Lucille iconic stadium began in April. 
2017 and will be strategically located in the middle of the city. The stadium centerpiece structure is designed to mirror the ancient Arab craft of bolt weaving and the saddleform roof floats above the concrete bowl. As one of the basic requirements, it needed to have a highly efficient energy saving system. This is important because Qatar's climate is intense and the building will help to cool the players and fans. When the games are taking place without it, you would simply not be able to watch a game or play it for 90 minutes. To round off its eye-catching design, it also has a great community space with room for shops, athletic and education facilities, as well as a health clinic designed to hold 80,000 people. The stadium will cost $45 billion to build while the project is impressive. Ketter has received some criticism. They have been faulted for alleged corruption that happened during their selection as hosts of the 2022 World Cup and for the country's mistreatment of migrant workers, which directly concerns projects like Lucel the International Trade Union Confederation estimates that 4,000 workers will die in Qatar by 2022. These problems could lead FIFA to cancel the tournament in Qatar, but that remains to be seen with a wide range of facilities built to the highest international standards. Lucille City will be one of the most important cities hosting the main stadium teams and fans during the 2022 World Cup. Its existence isn't necessarily dependent on any tourism boom. That tournament would break because of its focus on sustainability. It's expected that the city will continue thriving beyond the tournament. China's new Silk Road Mega Project China has been the fastest growing economy in the world since the 1980s, with an average annual growth rate of almost 10%. This transformation has influenced every aspect, aspect of China's society, culture and economy. As a result, China has become the world's largest economy as well as a leader in manufacturing and trade. However, the recent slow growth of China's economy and rocky trade relations with the United States of America have pressured the country's leadership to rethink their growth plans. In 2013, China's President Xi Jinping announced a new Silk Road that is also now called the Belt and Road Initiative. It's a brand new trade corridor, which consists of a global infrastructure network of roads, railways, air, and sea ports. The land routes labeled the Belt and the maritime routes labeled the road involve countries on three continents and more than half the world's population. You could say it's the largest infrastructure project in modern history. The inspiration for the project came from the ancient Silk Road, an old trade route that once ran between China and the West during the days of the Roman Empire. It's how Oriental Silk first made it to Europe. China has taken the knowledge from the past, asked, and revived it in the present to protect its future, to relations with other nations, and they're going big with the project altogether. Estimated to cost a whopping $900 billion, signaling a new era of globalization still ambitious in January 2018. China announced another road to the belt, the Polar Silk Road here. China wants to develop new shipping routes in the Arctic together with Russia. This means setting up energy and infrastructure project in the Arctic Circle. However, Arctic resource extraction remains difficult and expensive due to the harsh climate limited infrastructure and distance to manufacturing centers. Despite the project ambition, the chilly conditions there might hold back its progress. Which project was the most impressive for you? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoy our content, remember to press the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more videos. But for now, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.